Um, you know, you know what I'm just gonna say this right now. The only remote low I have is that the mass dancer was incredible because I didn't want it to end. I didn't want the day yesterday to end. I mean, we had the mass dancer. The Dallas Cowboys won. I got to spend the day with my father. And the icing on this already delicious cake. Outside of the one that I'm probably going to have today. Because it's my birthday today. Is. I just need to take an opportunity to point out that my true high, even after everything I just mentioned, is the fact that in spite of everything that's happened this whole year, oh, my computer's acting all funny, in spite of everything that's happened this year, at the end of the day, I have a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, two beautiful two beautiful nephews and a whole bunch of people in my life who love and care about me. And to know that going into my birthday really does move me in a way that I, I can't even physically describe it. It's incredible. I mean, there are people wishing me a happy birthday yesterday, and yesterday's not my birthday. Today's my birthday. Today's my birthday today. You know what, no. I'm going to remain perfectly humble today for several reasons. One, we are still in 2020. Anything can happen, good or bad. And it does happen, hopefully it's good, but we'll have to see. Two, it is Monday, so regardless of whether it's your birthday or not, you know, back to the old original Monday grind for everyone. So there's that. And third, and more importantly, you know, I just mentioned, you know, I have family and friends you know, that love and support me. And that really is something that I guess for a long time, and I mentioned this the other day, kind of, at least especially with my mother and father, knowing that they love me unconditionally, you do sort of take that thing for granted. And then you have a year like 2020, where it really does put things into perspective for you. So, yes, it is my birthday today. And believe me, between everyone who's already wished me happy birthday, everyone who's going to wish me happy birthday, anyone who's wishing me happy birthday right now, at the time of this video, you know, I am thrilled, but I'm going to choose to remain humble throughout the course of the day. You know, if you walk up to me or say you wish me a birthday, of course I'll reciprocate by saying thank you. You know, I appreciate it. But I want to take an opportunity to point out that, you know, I have friends and family in my life who love me. And some people just simply don't have that. Some people throughout this year lost those things. Or actually I shouldn't say those things because they're people, people are not things. Some people lost family members throughout the course of this year. And, you know, I got very lucky. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's been hard. You know, there was, again, there was like a three month period of time I couldn't see my nephews at all. So to say that, in fact, even before COVID hit, my life was still terrible. I mean, I lost my grandfather to cancer. So, 2020 was a bad year long before any of the pandemic stopped. I can assure you. 
But it's times like this, I think, to one of my all-time favorite One Piece quotes. From one of my all-time favorite characters, Jinbei. And, you know, I mean, the quote can sort of be paraphrased a little bit because I've seen this be translated to several different ways. But the main, you know, crux of this quote is as follows. What's gone may be gone, but ask yourself this. What is it in your life that you still have? And... Yes, I know, I just said, I have family and friends who love me. Well, that sort of thing will never get old to say. It, it, it won't, it doesn't. So, needless to say, I'd like to dedicate this video to those in my life who love and care about me. And if it is your birthday today, Hey, you know what? I dedicate this video to you too because if it is your birthday today, that means we have something in common. So, and we're birthday buddies. Yay! <laughs> uh. And one last thing. I was actually thinking about this right before I started making, I started recording earlier. Nothing serious, mind you. I mean, it's no, no big news. But it's something I did think about. It's probably something I probably should wait until Friday to say. But as long as I'm thinking about it now and it's still fresh in my head, get it over with. And that is, I have no doubt that 2021 is going to be a better year than 2020. No doubt in my mind about that. But... It's easy to just wish and hope for something like that to happen. So, one of my New Year's resolutions next year is the only way we're going to make 2021 better is if we work together to make it happen. So I'm going to take every opportunity I can to try and make 2021 a little bit better for everyone. Everyone I see, I mean, I mean, it's kind of impossible for one person to make a whole year better for an entire planet, unless the entire world is watching all these videos, and I can tell you that my watch and view count so incredibly low, well, there's no way that's happening anytime soon. But I really do want to do something that can help people out. You know, again, it could be doing something as simple as an act of kindness, which, speaking of which, my act of kindness yesterday, excuse me, was, uh, you know, my father and I got the subs from the nears, so after dinner I helped, uh, you know, clean up. It's really about all I, you know, it's all I could do. But other than that, you know, I just got to spend the day with my father, whom, again, you know, I do sort of take the fact that, you know, he loves me unconditionally for granted. So I definitely want to be a lot more thankful and appreciative about that. And I am. But it's one of those things that you can honestly, say, that I can, I can stand to show that a little bit more, is what I'm trying to get at. We can all stand to, we can all stand to tell our parents and family members that we love them a little bit more. But let's be real here. It shouldn't just be my mother and father. It should be everyone in my family that I could show my appreciation for more often. But sometimes you, we just simply don't. You know, it could be, it could be because of, you know, we're busy, time gets away from us, not enough hours in the day, something. But I'm definitely going to try and be better. And before I go on rambling, I think I better get into the main thing I was really going to talk about today, which was last night the Masked Dancer premiered. So you got to watch, I got to watch uh, the Masked Dancer. And uh, the way the show is going to, I mean, 
it definitely follows some of the same, you know, process the Masked Singer does. You know, got, you know, people wearing costumes, you know, they're giving away clues. Well, one thing that they're actually doing different this time than they did a year ago, oh, for the Masked, for the Masked Singer is, they have a segment called Word Up, where, because here's the thing, the dancers don't sing. So Word Up is a way, is a way for whoever's in the costume to say something without the voice modulator on, and that's supposed to help you guess who it is. And, uh, last night, um, of the ten dancers that, you know, danced, um, five of the performers, five of the performers were, uh, the Mantis, or, sorry, I want to say Mantis, it's really Cricket. The Cricket, excuse me, the Tulip, the Hammerhead, the Disco Ball, and the Exotic Bird. And, needless to say that, um, the dance moves were all unique. They were different. I mean, some of you can tell that they are legit professional dancers. Others, they can dance, they can keep a beat, but they're not like, like, woo, wow, whoa, like, 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 you know, sort of pomp and flair. You know what I mean? So with that said, it turned out that, um, the disco ball wound up being eliminated. And it turned out to be, one of the great music legends in the entire game of any genre, and that is Ice T. Yeah, and he has to say, you know, Ice T is an OG. You know what I mean? He, he is the man. You know, he's an actor, a musician. You know, he's done it all. And needless to say, it's funny. Craig Robinson, the host, asked him like, what made him want to be on the Masked Dancer. And she's like, well, my daughter's on The Masked Singer, so I finally started watching. I'm like, okay, this actually looks kind of fun because, you know, we see, he saw a little Wayne get an ass on The Masked Singer. He saw Busta Rhymes this last season. Get a little answer. So he's thinking, okay, I can do this too. So when he was asked to do The Masked Dancer, he got up and ran for that opportunity. So, yes, to Ice T. I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, thank you for being the awesome human being that you are. You know, thank you for showing that you definitely still got moves. You know, although, because it was funny, Ken Jeong actually guessed, um, uh, Smokey Robinson as it was the disco ball. And I see, he's like, Smokey Robinson, really? And then Ken Jeong's like, hey, in my defense, Smokey Robinson was the ice tea of his time. He's like, Okay, that's true. <laughs> Which, all right, yeah, that's, that's not a bad, that's actually not a bad comparison, actually. So, yeah, needless to say, <sighs> I don't want to go to bed extremely late last night. So I think I'm gonna, you know, take the opportunity today to, you know, relax, enjoy the fact that I turned the big 3-1 today. You know, I plan on once again spending the day with two of the most important people in my life, my mother and my father. You know, we're definitely going to, I mean, here's the thing. I could just do like a big thing as to what well, we're, we're probably not even going to be doing that much today. I mean, my mom and I are going to do some things together, you know, like a couple of like errands, but... And she's gonna make me a nice dinner. So, I get mom food today. That's awesome. But in terms of like, everything else going on, it's actually gonna be kind of, kind of low key. Which is fine. I'm not asking for too much today. You know, I just rather would, you know, have this day specifically be for, you know, you know, yes, of course, it is my birthday day, but it's a lot of other people's birthdays. In fact, I'll put you this way. There's actually someone I've known since kindergarten who has the same birthday as I do. Oh, yeah. 
And uh, he actually wanted him going to a, a holy family in Notre Dame when middle school aired. And, again, and funny enough, I didn't see him until earlier this year in January, way before the pandemic hit. So needless to say, it was great talking to him again. Um, another person has the same birthday as I do. Um, I mentioned um, back when the Central Restaurant closed, there was this one waitress that we would always see. That one, that one waitress is the same birthday as I do. So, if either of you two are watching it all, you know, let's wait a little while until things get better, which I'm hoping it's soon, and we can do something good together. For the record, no, I don't want to wait until December of 2021. Let's do something soon, within, you know, a couple of months. I can wait, because it's rather not wait a whole year. So, that's about all I have to say. I talked about the mass dancer. I talked about how thankful I am today, what my plan is going to be today. You know, I gave, I gave you all a nice little message as to what we can do to make 2021 better. Because again, we can't wish and hope for it. We got to work hard to make it happen. You know, if it involves something you don't want to do, you should do it anyway. Sadly, that's just how it works. But you know what? When everything does work out, it'll be all the more rewarding. Like, favorite, share, the subscribe button, follow me on social media platforms, you guys on YouTube. I'm very humbled to this video for all of you guys that watch the today. We'll be a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And if everybody you guys want to talk, the channel is going to be here. Love you, and I'll always hear back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.